okay? We got to talk about how Bumble is Bumble in the back. We got to talk about how Bumble is being humble. All right, let's talk about Now, let's read this whole statement from Bumble on their IG page. To our beloved Bumble community, we made a mistake. Our ads referencing celibacy were an attempt to lean into a community frustrated by modern dating. And instead of bringing joy and humor, we unintentionally did the opposite. Some of the perspectives we heard were from those who shared that celibacy is the only answer when reproductive rights are continuously restricted, from others for whom celibacy is a choice, one that we respect, and from the asexual community for whom celibacy can have a particular meaning and importance, which should not be diminished. We are also aware that for many, celibacy may be brought on by harm or trauma. For years, Mumble has passionately stood up for women in marginalized communities and their right to fully exercise personal choice. We didn't live up to these values with this campaign, and we apologize for the harm it caused. So here's what we're doing. We're removing these ads from our global marketing campaign. Bumble will be making a donation to the National DV Hotline, among other organizations, as part of our ongoing efforts to support the work being done around the world to support women, marginalized communities, and those impacted by abuse. We will also be offering these partners this billboard space to display an ad of their choice for the duration of our reserved billboard time. Please keep speaking up and telling us how we can be better. We care about you and will always be here for you with love and sincere appreciation. You would think in this climate where women are loudly on these social media streets that they would have picked up on the reason why women are opting out of dating is because of the reproductive choices of women being negated across the country. Women are also loudly saying, loudly saying that they would choose a bear over a man to meet in the woods. That is saying something for the conditions of the the relations between men and women currently in this country. So to target women is very, very silly considering the fact that women are now in the driver's seat as far as choosing or opting out. Men are overwhelmingly represented on these dating apps. So there is a reason why women have been pulling back for some time. And because of these billboards, lots of women have said that they are deleting their apps. Okay, for some of the comments under the post. How many members of your team did this ad go through to get approval? And no one saw an issue? We're good on apologies, beat it. Artemis says, when women partake in celibacy boundaries, your app can't make money from corn addicted male audience who use your apps to target women for hookups. Julie said, you didn't lean into a community. You leaned into the feelings of men. You made no regard for women. You made it a woman's problem to fix the lack of nookie men are getting. How about addressing why women are not interested in having a relationship with men? Maybe tell the men to fix themselves instead of the women to give in. Do better. Astrid said 10 out of 10 for the apology and giving ad space to nonprofit organizations. She gave them a 10. Linda says, why don't you use the app to educate men on how to treat women with respect? That is a great idea, but how are you going to do that when men don't read? Like, are they going to watch a video on how to respect women? You really think these men are open to respecting women and treating women with humanity? (laughs) I think not. (laughs) Elizabeth, she is, she's like, and vice versa. Women treat men like trash. Also, failures in dating goes both ways, but... Women are the ones that they want on the apps and women are leaving for a reason. So you got to target what the the issues are for women if you want to bring women back into the spaces. Nico says, respect for what you people behave like you deserve it because you are a she doesn't make it your birthright. Nico does not like punctuation. Artemis, again, she says, I met man on your app who prayed on the fact that I had a smemorshan. Your app is full of misogynistic men who use women's bodies as sexual objects. This person says, yeah, men wrote that ad campaign and realized the app can't work without women. 
Um, this person says, hire more women, because clearly this was a man's idea. Digital, adver digital chat advertising said, which ad agency did this though? I went over to the Twitter to see what Twitter was saying about Bumble. You just said, men are 76% of Bumble users. Bumble's main business model is selling men access to women. Bumble won't alienate their primary customers, who are men, telling them to quit being sh They'll run ads like this to make their product, which is women, better and more available on their app for men. So that's the reason why telling simply telling men to do better is not going to work because men are the ones that are paying the big bucks and they they need women on here. So they're trying to pull more women on, but women are hardlining them. Women are standing on business right now. And they're like, nope, get someone else to do it. Um, Uja had reposted Tinkerbell's um, tweet. So Tinkerbell says, Bumble need to F off and stop trying to shame women into coming back to the apps instead of them running ads targeting men's behaviors. That's what she continued with. So Carolyn says, I just think it's kind of not so ironic that the owner of this platform, the platform Bumble, says she sees AI being a viable tool of matching people in the future. Someone who thinks like that clearly doesn't value humans and have um, positive, meaningful human interactions and connections. So if you didn't see this, um, like two or three days ago, the, the current owner of Bumble was talking about how AI will impact dating. Uja responds with, when you understand that she's running a business, not doing humanitarian service, you'll understand why and how she'll do anything to keep making money for her corporation. Absolutely. This is a money-making situation, but she is targeting women and women do women are tired of being dehumanized. So they should actually work that in somewhere. Okay. Onaji says, y'all get mad at everything, isn't it? This was supposed to be a We Funny campaign. It can't be that serious. So this African man, maybe Nigerian, talking about in it and be a We Funny campaign. <laughs> okay. Um, this person responded with, it wasn't even funny and it doesn't address why many women um, left the app in mass in the first place. And so Onaji responds with, Bumble is way more secure than Tinder because it gives the ladies the power to message first, to start a conversation regardless of match. Tinder, with all its flawed setup, is still standing. The campaign against Bumble is nothing more than a sabotage. It's a smear campaign. These people just simply refuse to see from the stance of women. And it, to bring in what Tinder does doesn't particularly matter because we're talking about Bumble and Bumble's billboards and the reason why women don't want to be on Bumble, the app. So bringing in another company is whataboutism. And anyway, like this person responded, not anymore, anyone can message first. And Onaji wasn't aware. He's like, it's been a minute since I used the app, my bad. And then somebody in the comments posted a bio for Ian. He says about me, one of my best friends is a female and I would do anything for her. I like to think I look better with short hair, but, but haircuts are expensive and it's a free hat. If I believe in doing something, don't tell me no. I'll make it happen. Your past made you. Fear is the greatest stopper of anything. <laughs> He's, he works for Lyft. He's 5'11". He sometimes works out. But this is the type of product that women are able to choose from. Then Sophie says, absolutely insane to watch Bumble stock price rise after an announcing their new strategy to tell straight women to start effing again. And here is the stock line for Bumble. And you can see how it went up at um, around May 9th. You see that the trajectory up, which is wild. I wonder what it's going to be as more women um, started deleting the app after this billboard campaign. I'm going to end it with Sydney Noir. She says, I'm going to make a video on it, but Bumble doing a campaign attempting to shame celibacy ab abstinence is a very unserious way to tell the public y'all are nervous. It's also a very offensive way to tell your female customers that you're profiting off of their legs opening. <laughs> Women are not, women are doing that whole block party of 2024, and I don't think that this apology is going to work, but y'all go ahead and weigh in.